Atayer, come. Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. That platform, Atayer. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Ah! <laughs> 
Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! I, ah, oh, my leg! Ah, oh, my leg! Quiet, or the Templars will hear us. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The rope... Go and release it. Bring death upon our enemies. You did well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue! Unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet. The worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. 
Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I'm sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Man, I can't even change my clothes. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest.
So you're really an assassin? Like Altair? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us live in, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. You have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up the past. It's all right. Gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Got a question for you before I turn in. Sure. How did they find me? I mean, I haven't been anywhere near another assassin for ten years. Is your real name? Nope. Not before today. Credit cards? Cash only. Telephone? There's no one to call. Driver's license? Motorcycle. Guilty pleasure. There's your answer. Photo, fingerprint. This is a drug company. What does Abstergo have to do with the DMV? Desmond, these guys are everywhere. They... I... I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk about it. Aren't you tired? Can't talk, gotta work. Damn it, they locked the door. <laughs> 